it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by and welcome into the studio. Today on Anne Makes, I have a Michael's grab bag haul to share with you. That's right, it is the after Halloween uh, getting rid of their stuff sale, I guess. And they have grab bags on certain Michaels and when I heard about that uh, yesterday I was like oh my goodness I gotta go check out if the Michaels I frequent had grab bags and when I walked in I found them so I filled up two carts worth of grab bags for a total of seven grab bags I swear seven grab bags and I took that to my car and the reason I, I stopped at seven is because I couldn't fit more in the two carts and I could only maneuver two carts across the store out, outside and through the parking lot with, and there was snow on the ground. So that in itself is a sport. So if you're interested in seeing what I got in these seven bags, from the Michael's grab bag haul, stay tuned. Otherwise, uh, please uh, go watch somebody else. I'd rather you be happy watching something else than this. So Michael's uh, grab bag haul, I had seven bags. Now the word bag really doesn't define what I had <laughs> when I got home. Uh, the bags were so torn and falling apart. I barely made it into the house. I actually had to carry stuff in and get my uh, my my cloth shopping bags to bring the stuff from the car to the house because the bags were no more. So I am not going to be doing an unbagging one by one for you. I took out all the stuff. I put it into categories and I calculated how much stuff I got. So in my seven bags, I have a total retail value of, you'll have to wait. No. So in the bags that I got, now this is seven bags combined and they were $4 a piece. So I spent $28 Canadian before taxes there is this t-shirt so i lucked out this is an adult size t-shirt actually and it says trick or treat yourself trick or treat yourself i actually got an article of clothing that is adult size so uh it, it might fit me if not it will get passed on to my son so what do i have to show you i piled it behind me here there. So let's start. So to complete my t-shirt, I have three, three, not one, three fedoras, white fedoras. These were $30 a piece. Anyway, so I have the fedoras to go with the t-shirts. Okay, I am dressed now for success. Uh, there were these pumpkin foam thingamajiggy craft things so it's a kit to make the happy halloween pumpkin and my little paper fell off but i'm pretty sure i got two of these the value in canadian dollars uh, retail six dollars i got the psychic fortunes this little box here and the price on that was twelve dollars I and I was a the the stuff I got is a lot about fortune telling which is quite funny anyway uh, this this piece fortunes told here it is broken it is um, probably missing the crystal ball and I missing a thumb there my little my little fortune teller is missing a thumb and the full retail value of this prior uh, to being bagged was $26. So this is a fun piece. I got some cookie cutters. I have the Tombstone cookie cutter. Uh, this, I got three of them. 
and they are three dollars a piece that's what it looks like I have three of those I got one coffin three dollars and I have this other cookie cutter in plastic to make like leaves and uh, this too is a three dollar retail price I have this thing <laughs> I don't know it's some wiggly green witch I don't know how much this was. There's no price on it, but yahoo. Okay, got that. Um, unknown price. I have a pre-lit wood mummy light. The light still works. Retail value, $7. And there we go. Save the light for next year. We have the pre-lit with the light. Uh, this one, the light, oh, the light is dying. Uh, yeah, that one's not going to last. Okay, a uh, little coffin that says trick or treat, another $7 retail price. And lucky me, I got a bunch of these little lanterns, these trick or treat metal lanterns. And this one, does it still work? Oh, there's the switch. It still works. And I was so lucky I got four of these. And these are value retail price $8. $8 for this. So four times. And I got one of these with the little jack-o'-lantern. So it's a little different. Again, this is also... Eight dollars and the light still works and then this one that says happy Halloween though does the light work the light still works so I got two of these actually so these are eight dollars a piece my little lanterns and there's more there's a lot more another pre-lit wood decoration this one, let's see. Yep. Oh, and it's got the flashing light in it. Yes, so $7 retail. We have the headband hair bow. These are $12 a piece. There were three of these in my bags. Total of three. I have a happy Halloween lantern that looks like a paper bag but it's actually galvanized metal and the candle light is still working and these like these are fourteen dollars as well as this one this rounder can one it's also fourteen dollars also has a light so i got one of each of these Okay, I got the jackpot of these Creatology uh, craft kits that are the foam stuff that are they're like, they're, you know, for children, mostly recommended age six up. Uh, time to complete for the oh, adult assistance re suggested, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. The Dia de los Muertes guitar, Day of the Dead guitars. These are $15 a piece, and I got three of these, three of those. Um, I have two of the Spooky Dog, the Spooky Dog and Kitty. $15 a piece. I have one Venus flytrap. Here we go, Venus flytrap. Home making kit. My favorite one is the skating cat, of which I have two of those. $15 a piece, full retail. Good thing they're full. Okay. Okay, now this is the kicker. I thought it would never end. I was like, did I get just this? Because the fortune teller, fortune teller, I have eight. 
eight of these fortune tellers. <laughs> I think one would have been enough, but no, I got eight. Okay, so uh, the witch's castle, this one. So I have two of these. All right, the haunted ship. I have one haunted ship. And, but these are a, these are big kits. This one is thirty dollar retail value. Thirty dollars, OMG. And then this one is the Pumpkin Alley, and it glows in the dark. I got three, three of these in my grab bags for thirty dollars a piece. Don't worry, I have done the math for you. Uh, this was a, a fun find in the grab bags. They have these clush, like clush, glass clush recollections. These are uh, retail $14.99. And I got two of these, I believe. I got, oh, this one's good. Also, uh, I got the uh, thing of Tic Tacs. Tangerine and green apple. 200 mints of Tic Tacs. Love me Tic Tacs. This will be great in my car. I will be there for a long time. And I do not have, I have no idea what, how much this was retail at Michael's. I know it's more than at the dollar store, that's for sure. So I got that. And just in case I need some spare parts, uh, I have a four. <laughs> <laughs> these bottles these lab bottles of body parts and four of those and two bags of this black and white shred this is seven dollars retail okay. there was this headband in there and it's a nice metal headband it says hocus pocus and it comes with a set of bat earrings there and this is a $12 value it's actually a nice piece it fits um it'll be fun to you know decorate my head with uh yeah $12 for that got some extra heads <laughs> Uh, the ba this is uh, made of styrofoam. It's actually well made. It looks like uh, it looks pretty good. So there were four of these little skulls, and these are three dollars a piece retail. And there were three of this one, also three dollars. Got those. There is a color dangle ornament. And it looks like a mermaid. Is it a mermaid? Yeah, monster mermaid type of dangled ornament uh, kit to make to finish. Two dollars and fifty cents a piece, and those I have two of. There is this backdrop, and this is a, like to put in if you have a, a car with a trunk and you want to decorate the inside of the car trunk that's the intention but i guess there's other this could be used anyway as a any type of backdrop really it doesn't have to be just um yeah so this is eight dollars and i actually saw some of the kits that they show here uh to do the full design backdrop thing in your trunk but they they came they were two long big boxes of those in a grab bag and i left those because uh i, I thought i'm not going to use i had no use for that so i left that for somebody else uh gel clings these like window stickers basically three dollars for these uh, I don't think this was supposed to be in the bag, but it was a set of three paintbrushes. I don't know. There's some paintbrushes, no price. Looks like it's part of something else. Do not know what happened. Uh, 
a bag. Well, actually, I got two bags of these foam stickers. And then you can see the, the cat skeleton, the dog skeleton. <laughs> I think that's really cute. And these bags retail value $12. Uh, these kits, these color, what's it called? Color in, color in party platter. So there is a kit here to make 40 of these little like frames. And they have markers and Google eyes, glitter, sequins. Uh, yeah, just a little craft kit to make 40 of these. Retail value of this is $2, and I have two. These will be fun to actually, uh, you know, color, paint, whatever, and make little embellishments with. And I got a ton of these wooden masks on sticks. I have two of this kind of, I'm calling it Dracula. These are $2.50 a piece. So I have two of the Dracula. I have three of this pumpkin. Uh, four of the sort of Frankenstein. Three skulls. Two of the monsters. And one witch. One witch. So I have a total of 14. 14 in total of these wooden masks on sticks. Okay. Pom poms. Uh, I got two bags of these pom poms. So I got two of these. They're $12 of retail value. And, you know, that's what I, I was hoping to get more uh, craft supplies, more than uh, decorating stuff. But I got, <laughs> I got it all. <laughs> I got these foam shapes, witches hats. So there's purple and black. There's a total of 30 in here. Uh, this is total retail value of $12. And some fun little craft kits foam ornament making kit $12 retail price <laughs> I think these are cute I also got this one also a $12 retail price very fun crafts to make whether you're a little you're whether you're a, a big big kid in a, an adult body or you're you're working with kids it's great <laughs> uh, some glass bottles these are really fun. Pretty happy to find these. These are $14.99, $11.99, sorry, $11.99 Canadian. And there was this set of bottles with the labels, also $11.99. I love glass bottles, so uh, yeah, these will be fun. And, oh, bubbles. Some skulls filled with bubbles. So these are $4 a bag and this, you know, some of this stuff I will uh, put aside for trick-or-treaters next year. So this will be, you know, fun. I'll give that to the trick-or-treaters. Uh, this little Halloween activity book, this was $5. So it's got, yeah, it's an activity book. That's what it is. It's got puzzles and stuff in it to do. Uh, oh, these are fun looking. These gel stickers. To me, yeah, gel cling scene. So you get the scene. So it's like the mad scientist in the lab. <laughs> I think that's really cool looking. I know my, my boys would have loved this when they were younger. So this is fun. And here we are. We have some coloring posters. And a whole bunch of coloring posters. Uh, there's five pieces except this one doesn't have the markers anymore so you have this mad scientist again it says boo and these are a dollar fifty no sorry they're two dollars and fifty cents a piece in Canada they're supposed to be five piece set because they are to have four markers in each so I ended up with a couple of these uh, two also of this and they glow in the dark 
this coloring poster of like the haunted house and two sets of this coloring poster with the little markers so those are $2.50 a piece again great to give give out I I could give these out at Halloween next year um Oh, this set of gel, a gel cling scene sticker. So it's a haunted house, and and there's like ghosts and the kitty. Oh, there's a couple kitties actually. Yeah, bats. So that's kind of fun. And I don't know. Again, another item that I don't think was supposed to be in the bag, but it is. Uh, it is a Creatology product, and it's a clipboard. It's a clipboard, pineapple theme, uh, really sturdy clipboard, and it comes with a bunch of stickers to decorate it. So that's, that's not a bad find. I was thinking of using a clipboard to keep track of the food in our freezer downstairs in the basement, and this would be great. I could, you know, I could hang this on the wall beside the freezer and clip you know my pages to it so hey and it's got pineapples i don't know it's kind of dual purpose i actually have two bags here that have survived <laughs> the travel <laughs> but I, I there was a lot of stuff that got dumped in here mostly the smaller things that were falling out of the other bags so i got this giant ornament i had no idea what it was but it's a giant ornament uh and these retail for 16 dollars canadian so, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Something I will be using uh, a lot of this ribbon. It's metallic olefin. It's two and a half inches wide. There's 12 feet of it in here. It's, it's a meshy, shiny black ribbon. Awesome. Full retail value of this was $8.00 can be used any time of year got some more little fun craft kits this one is a felt garland kit and it's witches and cats I love this one uh, and the retail value on this is five dollars oh and I actually got two of those two of those I got one of these color in puzzle kits. Uh, some eyeball die cuts. These are valued at $9 for 24 eyes. 24 very tired looking eyes. And this one has 24 haunted houses. These are all die cuts. Uh, another kit, a foam wreath kit for $5. A little canvas painting kit, and it looks like it's uh, Dracula. There's two things to paint. Uh, one is Dracula, and the other one is like Mermaid Monster. This is $5 retail value. There's a... Frankenstein looking a build build kit uh, build a scene kit five dollars some paper straws with bats this is twelve dollars so there are three dimensional little bats oh yeah this was in one of the bags I think the there must have been a lid. It must have fallen off, and this could have been some slime of some sort, but it's stiff now, and there's a fuzzy eyeball in it. <laughs> Whatever. I also got this little guy. Oh, this is one of those little uh, things. It's, it's a skull, and it looks like he the goop here, this blue goop is coming out of his mouth lovely uh slop a slop glopper uh yeah and slop glopper here is um not priced so i have no idea how much this was some earrings c 
six pairs of earrings and these are nine dollars these are cute uh, one of them was a little bent out of shape because it was stuck in the goopy stuff but I could reuse the charms themselves so in uh, crafts I got some Tim Holtz Tim Holtz uh, pumpkin pieces I had two of those I have no idea what the price was on these I got some color in clothespin kits so you get their wood their wooden pieces and five dollars I believe five dollars for that Tim Holtz uh, trinket tins Halloween they were Halloween they ended up in the grab bag uh, yes please Tim Holtz no there's no problem with that and a flashlight that doesn't flash anymore the battery has died and that was eight dollar retail value the Tim Holtz stuff I don't know how much it was sorry and oh some press on nails I know there's two of these and these are the press on nails and that's five dollars another package of earrings uh, another six six pairs of earrings oh this was nine dollars fun little earrings tiny little earrings now last but not least in this bag I put everything that was costume uh, related I put all the cost Halloween costume stuff in one bag I will be keeping uh, a few items but most of these I will be donating uh, to my local donation center for uh, so they could either sell it or give it for to other children in the community who you know can't afford to buy a costume for Halloween so uh, that's what I'll do with them so unless I have a crafty idea for them these this one I I might do something else with it but I might also donate it. the kids wings uh, this is $50 $15 they are like dragon wings little dragon wings um, I'm thinking these might actually could be put on the cat which would be funny or a little dog <laughs> a dog would be cute in this I don't know how you can manage that uh, but yeah so dragon wings I got two of these little elephant costumes so you have the little skirt and the little elephant headband here two of those this is also $15 retail value I got oops this fell off the princess princess kit with the there's our tiara there and her wand uh, we got a little mask a little dracula mask and oh, the elephant kit i already told you i had two uh this one is the candy corn uh mask this is oh so cute this is a mouse one the mouse one it's so cute it just has the little paws and headband there's no tail oh oh well so this is the mouse and then i of course there is a tutu so a purple tutu the retail value of this is 30 bucks really so yeah tutu and then the large what do they call these jumbo masks so if you want to look like a pepperoni pizza uh yeah you can you can look like a pepperoni pizza and that will cost you 15 dollars i believe and then my i've saved the best for last but i cannot find my model to wear this my assistant be but look what was in there a pet costume it's a shark it's a shark head costume for kitty <laughs> but the best part is i could go as a shark too i could be the mommy shark 
could be the baby shark. OMG, that is too funny. So that's it for my mega haul from Michaels, the seven uh, $4 grab bags. I spent a total of $28 Canadian uh, before taxes. And the total retail value of all seven, all seven, seven, seven of the grab bags, the retail value was a total of my, and I, there are items I don't have prices for, so I did, I couldn't put a value on that. So the total value, full retail value, at least of the seven grab bags was a total of $1,308.50. Yes. Before taxes, of course. And so here in Canada, we would add about 15% of tax. So... Now, I would not have paid full price for the majority of these things or any of these things, to be honest with you. So even if I had purchased this stuff with 50% off coupons, let's say, this would have been over $600 retail. Okay? I paid $28. <laughs> That's crazy crazy so uh yeah these these grab bags are so worth it um now the only problem is i have so much stuff that i don't need and i will have to uh just give it away when i will i will donate stuff uh, i will give it to friends uh I, I, yeah, I have to, that's what I'll do. A lot of the things I will donate. Some things, uh, some little things I will keep for trick-or-treaters next year, maybe. And, of course, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to keep uh, for crafting. So, that's what will be happening with this. Uh, don't worry, I'm not actually keeping it all. There's no way. And uh, maybe some of it can go in friend mail or giveaway, maybe. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the mega haul from Michaels. The seven grab bags that are $4 a piece. I would like to go run out to other Michaels to see what else I could find. However, I I am swamped. I have a lot to do, so that's not going to be happening. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you were entertained by uh, my grab bag haul. And uh, I hope that you will want to give this a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.